struggling to use color right on your website? Well, I'm gonna show you how to use color to make your websites look engaging, trustworthy, professional, and not loud and distracting. And using just four simple rules, I can help you take a website that looks like this and make it look like this. Plus, I'm gonna be giving the first 500 people that use the link in the description to download my color palette cheat sheet absolutely free, which includes hundreds of professional color palettes that you can use for your brand or other brands with the lessons that you're gonna learn in this very video. So let's start with rule one, the 60, 30, 10 rule. Now this rule can be used in website design, interior design, and even fashion. But what if you don't have a color palette yet? Well, you have two options. The first option is I have a video on my YouTube, which has over 100,000 views and it's helped thousands of people to find the perfect color palette for their brand. Or the second option is you can go to the link in the description and you can find my color palette cheat sheet, which you can download for free if you're one of the first 500 people to download it. But once you have your color palette, which color is 60, which color is 30, and which color should you use as the 10%? Well, the 60% is usually a white or an off-white or some sort of beige or a really light gray or if you're a gloomy character, something like black or something super dark. Now the 30% is usually your main color, your brand's main color. So for example, think Tiffany & Co, Duck Egg Blue or Red for Coca-Cola. Now your 10% is your activation color. So this can either be one color or it could be an accumulation of around three to four different colors. Now the 10% colors are super important because they're going to drag the viewer's eye two specific elements on your website. And also they need to complement your main color and your base color, for example, where do our eyes naturally want to go when viewing this website? No, 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 not those. Look at the button, because the button is colored with the activation color, therefore it is different to the rest of the website and it's trying to draw our eyes in to get us to click the button, which is ultimately the strategic objective of the website for this particular business. Now we'll come back to the 60, 30, 10 rule a little bit later on in this video, but the second rule to using color with website design is contrast. Now we all know how important it is for your website to look great, but if your website doesn't have enough contrast, then you could end up with some legal trouble and we all know what happens in prison don't we? So if you're wondering if your website has enough contrast, just go to webaim.com and add your base color into the hex code bar and then just add your other two colors and test them. And if you get all green results as part of the test, then you're all good to go. Now, just to drive the message home, this website here is terrible in regards to contrast. It doesn't look very good. It's difficult to read and we have no idea where we need to go as a website visitor. Now, this website, however, is much better. Visually, it's far more aesthetically appealing we know exactly where we need to click and it just presents the information in a way which is so much easier to read and it also presents the business in a far better light. Now step three is making sure all of your colors work well together and complement each other. And if for whatever reason you're not 100% happy with how your colors are kind of working together and you maybe want to look at some other options, we can fix that in around six seconds. Just go to mycolor.space and put in the hex code of the color that you just generally like best and you will get hundreds of variations of other color combinations around that particular color that you chose that complement that color perfectly. Then all you need to do is just structure your colors into the 60, 30, 10 rule and you will be good to go. Okay, that was like 13 seconds, right? But I'm trying my best here. Give me a break. There are actually four other platforms which I will link in the description which can help you create color palettes. So feel free to use those as well. They're all super helpful. Now, all of these rules are great, but I'm gonna show you some real life examples from the Brand Designer Pro community where they have basically taken a website which has looked pretty bad and basically redesigned it using what they've learned in the Brand Designer Pro course to make it look so much better. And every single example that you're seeing right now has been designed by someone who has never designed a website before signing up to Brand Designer Pro. And if you think that the Brand Designer Pro course only teaches website design and brand design, you would be so, so, so wrong. Now we've never done this before, but I'm gonna give the first 500 people that use the link in the description a 24 hour free trial trial to the Brand Designer Pro community. So they can get in there, they can test the course, they can see how great it is for 24 hours, which should give you more than enough time to see if it is right for you and if it's gonna enhance your career, your future, and your potential as a brand designer. Now it covers every What's single- <laughs> What? What are you doing? Can you not see I'm in the middle of something here? Oh, what are you doing? Are you selling that Brand Designer Pro crap? Just give me one second. Right, okay, nice. Thank you, bye. Right, where was I? Now the entire Brand Designer Pro course doesn't just teach you how to develop better logos and websites and all that good stuff. 
it teaches you how to sell them for a premium. It teaches you how to reach your potential as a brand designer, get better at sales calls, build a website that actually converts into paying clients. It teaches you everything that you need to know to set up an automated brand design agency that can actually get you real paying clients that trust you, that respect you, and that won't ask you for millions of revisions because we know how annoying that can be. And we've already got like roughly around 500 members anyway who are paying full price for the course, but I wanted to give you a 24 hour free trial for the first 500 people who use the link in the description. And best of all, if you, for whatever reason, do not feel like Brand Designer Pro is for you, within 90 days of actually using the course, you can get 100% of your money back, no questions asked, within 90 days as part of our money back guarantee. We're so confident that Brand Designer Pro is the best course out there for brand designers to help them reach their full potential. You can get in there for 90 days, try it out, and if you don't like it, you can get your money back. So that's how confident we are. Feel free to try it out for 24 hours. The link is in the description. Let's get back to the video. Now, every single website design example that I've just shown you from the Brand Designer Pro community members was done using the exact same rules that I am teaching you in this lesson. Now, when you actually start designing a website for the first time, do not start with color. Instead, start designing in just black and white. Now, you may be asking yourself, Scott, are you an idiot? Why would I do that? Well, the theory behind it and why I find it super helpful is that if you design in black and white first, you can focus on the website structure, the hierarchy of text, images, and the placement to make sure that the website design is perfect before you start adding color. Also, just one more quick tip while we're on the subject. If you're using black and white within your actual color palette on your website or anywhere else, make sure that you use a slight off black or a slight off white because when they're used together, if they're too black and too white, the contrast is just a little bit too jarring for the eyes. So by just toning it down slightly, it makes it a lot more visually appealing and easier to kind of look at. They just simply complement each other a lot better and it's just a lot easier on the eye or eyes if you have to, obviously. Then once your website is perfectly designed in black and white and you're ready to add color, the first step is to add your base color. So that's the 60% color that we were talking about before, 60, 30, 10, remember? Now, your base color should be used for backgrounds and any text on the likes of icons or any colored buttons. Now, remember what I said before about your base color usually being something like white or beige or light gray, just to give the website a nice airy feel and just make it super aesthetically appealing. Also, it's gonna allow your activation colors to stand out a lot more because you know, on dark backgrounds, it's a little bit harder to get that contrast, if that makes sense. Next, you need to start adding your 30% color, which is essentially your main color for the brand. So again, just think about the likes of Tiffany & Co with Duck Egg Blue. This is the type of color that you are going to be known for, for your brand in your business or your client's brand or business. Now, this color is going to be used for things like headlines. It's going to be used for your logo. It's also going to be used within the imagery that you select for the website. So if you really wanna make sure that your website just looks and feels super credible and professional, if you can't get professional photography done using this color, just try to find the best images online that actually use either this color or elements of this color, and it's gonna take your website from an eight to a 10 in no time. And last is your activation or CTA color, which essentially just means call to action. Now this color should be used sparingly. It should only be used for buttons or things that you want the website visitor to click. So this is ultimately your guidance color. It's kind of like the, the, the guiding star of your website. You want people to look at this particular element, like a button or you know a link that you want them to click, which is ultimately connected to the strategic objectives of your website, whether that be to book discovery calls or to get clients to book appointments or to sell a product. This is how you should be using this color. It should be used sparingly. If it's used too much, then it will lose its impact. So keep that in mind. And then once you finish that step, there's just one final thing that you need to do. And that is to find an extremely ambitious pigeon with fairly strong legs. Attach a box of chocolates to that pigeon and send it to Thailand, which is where I live, to ultimately deliver those chocolates to my front door. Now, you can do that, or you can just leave a like and a comment on this video to let me know how helpful it is. But if I'm completely brutally honest, I'd rather have the chocolates. 